So I'm gonna have Robert Field and Rex DeGuzman go through their camera setups, but real quick, I wanna go through what, my, what I'm using for cameras back here in the stern so that I can kind of supplement their shots. I'm mostly here to bring you guys these how-to videos and also a feature story later on in Kai King and Mag uh, in the fall issue. But, um, but since I'm back here in the stern, I got a couple cameras back here just to fill in the shots, some hook set shots or landing fish shots. So, so right here, I've got a GoPro Hero 4 Black uh, mounted to the JAWS clamp mount right on the throat here, pointed at me so that I can get a few shots of me, uh, you know, paddling or casting or landing fish. Uh, and then I also have a hat with a GoPro Hero Session uh, mounted to the top. Then that way I can look at the bow paddler, watch them land a fish, hook a fish, uh, cast, paddle, whatever. And it just provides a really good uh, secondary camera guy in the boat at all times. This is the Railblazer camera boom. It acts like a swing arm, which allows you to pivot uh, all around 360 degrees. And on the end, we have a, a GoPro Jaws flex mount which also allows you to tilt and pivot any way you need. And at the top, I have a 360 quick release, which allows you to turn it. So all these little turns and, and pivots and tilts allow you to get your shot really easily and get the angle that you need on the fly, and usually one-handed. And of course, for POV, I've got my Garmin Verb mounted to my action hat. So this mount will help set the scene, kind of capture us in action, uh, and this will show the action. Okay, so filming and fishing out of a canoe is kind of a, a new thing for me, a, a new way of thinking. So um, it took some adjusting, but there's really a lot of options you can do to capture some unique angles while you're fishing and paddling out of a canoe. Um, up front, we're using a uh, ram claw mount with a Railblaza camera boom adapter. And that kind of gets me a nice wide shot of the boat. You can move it around and get different angles. So you can get kind of off to the side so that I can show my paddler in the back get kind of the head on, I can get down low or up high, uh, get some nice kind of full on views from the front of the boat. Uh, next I use this Jaws clamp from GoPro. Uh, this is great for just putting it on the gunnel, getting quick uh, angle adjustments. If you want to get your fish jumping out of the water, you know, close to the water line, you can hang it off the side. Um, I've also been using this to stick it onto trees as we've been portaging to capture, to capture some of the footage that way. Uh, just one of the most flexible mounts you, you know, on the market. Just gives you a ton of options. Next up, I never go filming without my action hat. Um, point of view, I think, is one of the most important angles you've got. Really lets the viewer you know, feel like they're part of the action in the moment. Um, the action hat floats, so for a trip like this, we're going through rapids and have the risk of this falling off my head or falling out of the boat, uh, I know that I'm gonna be able to go retrieve it and not lose that $500 camera. So action hat's always a staple no matter what kind of trip you're on. And because the water's so clear, I got this Connect Dome. Um, what this allows you to do is because it puts the water line away from the camera lens, if you stick this halfway in the water, you get a really nice clean over under shot. Um, it's one of the cooler shots that you can capture in my opinion. So uh, we're trying to bust this out whenever we catch a fish. We're having to release these fish really fast, so you know it can be tough, but uh, trying to keep this handy, get some nice over under shots. Just a really way, cool way to add some dynamics to your video that people haven't seen before. So that's the basic setup. The key is to keep it flexible, keep the angle changing as much as you can. Um, and, and keep changing that shot so that uh, it stays dynamic for your viewer.